What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we are talking about calcium and alkalinity. What's going on guys, we're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, gently press that subscribe button in the face. What do you do? What do you do when you get lemons? You make lemonade. So I'm going to take something that is happening today and I'm going to make a video on it. The problem being is I had another video almost completed, ready to upload for you guys. And then I had this last segment that I needed to film, which has caused some concern about what's going on in the reef tank. And so I'm scratching that video. I'm gonna put it on the back burner. Maybe I'll put it out next week because it's pretty much shot. And do this other video, whether it be a little bit run and gun style and get this out to you because it is a subject that you don't see very often, uh, but it's definitely something that needs to be talked about. Calcium and alkalinity in a reef tank. Ideal parameters for calcium and alkalinity is anywhere from 390 parts per million up to 460 parts per million. A little on the high side, 460. Your ideal alkalinity for a reef tank is anywhere from 8 dkh all the way up to 11. There is a balance that needs to happen, not just between calcium and alkalinity, but within a reef tank. And one of the most important things that I could ever tell you about keeping a reef tank is consistency. Consistency is going to be the key to success when it comes to reef tanks. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been testing my parameters pretty often. Basically, I've made it a habit to test my parameters every time that I'm uploading a video on YouTube, which is Sunday. And I have noticed over the last couple of weeks that my parameters and my calcium have started to increase and the alkalinity start to drop. Now, for me personally, I like to keep my alkalinity around eight and a half. And then my calcium, I prefer to keep that towards the top of the scale in that 450, 460 range. With all the corals that I've been adding to the tank, I've started to notice a imbalance in between the calcium and alkalinity. And what I'm gonna do is kind of go over with you guys how I'm going to fix this problem. Currently, I just got done testing my parameters and my calcium is at 490, which is almost off the scale as far as the Salifert test kit goes. And my DKH in my tank is running at about seven and a half. So both of these parameters are way out of where they should be. And what happens often in a reef tank is when that alkalinity starts to drop, it actually can make that calcium skyrocket in the system. Now, how I'm going to go about fixing this is very slowly because you don't want to cause a influx in pH. You don't want to cause a influx in alkalinity. Anytime that you're trying to buffer your alkalinity, you want to make sure that you're doing it very, very slowly. So what better way to go about this than do it with my Neptune Systems dose and over the course of the week. So what we're going to do is jump into my Apex dashboard and make some adjustments with my dose and how I am adding the two part elements to my tank and then hopefully make an adjustment uh, to the tank and make the levels kind of balance out a little bit. All right, so we are in my Apex Fusion dashboard and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to take my calcium and alkalinity dosing. I'm going to just essentially shut off the calcium doser and Typically how I dose calcium and alkalinity is I dose calcium during the day and alkalinity at night, but I'm going to be changing that also to just completely dosing a small amount of alkalinity over the course of a day. So basically what I'm going to be doing here is jumping into the dose pump that is responsible for putting the alkalinity into my reef tank. And how I currently have it set up is to dose a little bit after the lights go out to midnight and then from midnight to 6 a.m., but I'm going to change that schedule from midnight all the way to midnight, essentially. And what one of the great things about Neptune Systems Apex, especially when it comes to dosing, is that they figure it out all for you. Basically, you just set the time frame that you want it to dose and the amount that you want it to dose over that time. Neptune Systems Apex will do the math and figure out how often it needs to actually dose to meet the requirement of what you're asking for. So once you have the amount and the schedule set up, you can go back into the gearbox and then select interval 
summary and it's going to break it down for you. It's going to tell you how much you're trying to dose over a 24 hour period or whatever time, how often it's going to dose. So every 17 minutes, it's going to put 0.4 milliliters into the reef tank. Now that I have my alkalinity set up the way that I want it, I'm going to go in and shut off the calcium altogether. Now, every single day for the next week, I'm going to be testing my calcium and alkalinity, keeping an eye on things. If I need to make additional adjustments, I'm going to do so. So once I have my alkalinity back to where I want it and my calcium has started to drop and both those parameters are within acceptable ranges, I'm going to go back to my old scheduling of two-part dosing. So if you guys want to stay up to date on this and kind of follow this process of how I'm going to correct my calcium and alkalinity in my reef tank, jump over to my Instagram. There's going to be a link down in the description below. Saturday when I'm working on uh, some videos for that week, I will post a video, give you guys an update of how this adjustment is taking place and I'll show you, I'll share with you guys my results there. So I'm not kind of interfering with my upload schedule as far as videos going forward. And really the hopes of this video is to share with you guys what actually can happen uh, when your calcium and alkalinity is out of whack. It can really make that calcium skyrocket and that alkalinity is just going to start to drop. And anytime that you're adding corals to the tank, it's very important. It's, it's important no matter what, but when you are messing with the bio load of your tank, things can change. Your nitrates can change, the rate in which you're using calcium and alkalinity can change. So it's very important to make sure that you are testing your parameters as often as you possibly can. Have a routine, make sure you're doing it every week at the very minimum, and it's going to help you be able to identify problems within your tank. That's really gonna be this week's video. Uh, the update is going to happen on Instagram, and if you guys wanna check that out, my Instagram, account name is down in the description also a couple of other things we got to do the comment contest giveaway uh, for you guys so we got to jump into the random youtube comment selector type thing so we can award the winner with a 25 dollars gift certificate to premium aquatics and this person is a subscriber somebody hit the like button on last week's video and left a comment on that video so let's do that now all right so we are here and we're gonna pick us a winner emily Emily, you have won yourself a $25 gift certificate to Premium Aquatics. Congratulations to the winner of the $25 gift certificate. Reach out to me via Facebook. Uh, I've found that's been the easiest way for people to kind of connect with me. Find my page, Mad Hatter's Reef, on Facebook. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you and then we'll kind of link up, talk how we're going to get that to you. One more thing before we jump off. I talked about it briefly last week. I made some t-shirts and... This is kind of what it looks like. This is a shirt for myself. It has the Reef Strong on the front and then the Mad Hatter's Reef on the back. And quite a few of these have already sold and I appreciate everybody who is participating and picking up some Mad Merch. I appreciate it. Um, all that stuff's gonna help support this channel and make it bigger and better. I wanna thank you guys for everything that you do. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button, the like button, leaving a comment down below, participating in being a part of what we do here. And that's gonna do it for today. I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.